I used to believe that the only way to overcome the temptation to masturbate was to masturbate. That sounds ridiculous. I know, because it is. But I was deceived. When the urge arrived, I used to think I had no choice but to give in. I thought resisting was futile because I believed the urge to masturbate wouldn't go away unless I gave into it. Today, I have victory in this area of my walk with the Lord because I have learned how to stop masturbation as a Christian. I have learned the truth that James speaks of. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. In other words, you make sexual temptation disappear if you take the correct step. You overcome the temptation to masturbate, or to look at porn for that matter, by doing something when the temptation arrives. James says you are to resist the devil. This word resist is the Greek word that means to stand against, to oppose. It is a verb, it's an action word, and it's an imperative, which means it's a command. In other words, resist is a command that you are to obey. This means when you are tempted to commit a sexual sin, and when the agent behind that temptation is the devil, there is a command that you are to obey. There is an action that you are to take. That action is resistance. You are to stand against the devil. You are to oppose the devil. And what happens when you resist the devil? He flees. Now, notice that James doesn't suggest that the devil might flee or that he will think about fleeing. James promises that the devil will flee, guaranteed. And also notice that the devil doesn't simply leave or walk away. He flees. (laughs) That is, he runs away. He vanishes out of your sight. But notice the best part of this promise. The devil flees from you. He will run away from you. He will vanish from your presence. This promise is personal. God promises you as an individual believer that the devil will flee from you, guaranteed, if you meet just one condition. You resist. I have learned through trial and error that the best way for me to resist the devil when in the midst of temptation is to stop what I am doing and to do something else. If I'm in bed all alone, I get out of bed and I get dressed. If I'm at my laptop, I close the lid and I leave the room. If I'm in the shower and a wicked thought enters my mind, I replace it by singing a hymn or praying out loud. The lesson here is that to resist the devil, you must do something. Resist is a verb. When you resist, you take action. When you take action, the devil flees from you. Now remember, masturbation is never inevitable, and temptation never lasts, not if you do something about it. This is hard to believe, I know. Before I got victory in this area, I simply couldn't imagine going months or years without pleasuring myself. I thought the temptation to masturbate would never go away unless I gave in, but I was wrong. Since then, I have learned how to stop masturbation as a Christian. I have learned firsthand that the temptation to masturbate, no matter how strong, goes away when the devil goes away. And the devil goes away when I resist him. I took five decades to discover this truth. Your results, I hope, will vary.